Whoop, there it is. Yeah. Whoop, there it is. Okay, you know that middle of September hurricane that I've been talking about? Let's put an asterisk behind that hurricane, shall we? For several months now, where I'm saying that off the opposition of Neptune, which will be around September 7th, sorry, September 10th, we should see a hurricane anywhere within five days after or before that, though it's after. And if it travels up the coast, it'll take a while longer. So I've been talking about this for a while, and I've guessed it's going to hit anywhere from here to here. Although atmospheric conditions like wind shear and dust could inhibit its development, I sure as heck wouldn't bet on that, though. It's possible. And well, Nathan the Nerd is pointing out that somebody else is mentioning updated forecast for hurricanes expected in 2019. New Jersey impact. Whether researchers have updated their expectations for hurricane, as well as the chances of New Jersey getting any kind of impact at all. You see how it works is, I've learned that, um, Everybody watches my channel, man, everybody, from big pop stars, big movie stars, politicians, but nobody ever admits that they do, so it's really weird. So I don't mind when people use my data because it helps save lives, though when like the mini Ice Age salesmen steal half my views and siphon it off, that's kind of annoying because they're really just trying to distract people from the truth. Okay, so but what I'm trying to say is the thing that I've been telling you all about, um, that the hurricane see this it will show up on the models about this time and that we will watch it develop now i think the models are going to be slow to show it as they usually are but here it is this is saying on the third it would be a this would make it a tropical storm but see uh hurricane irma rolled off the coast of Africa and became a named storm on the 30th of August and Hurricane Florence rolled off of Africa and became a named storm um, on the 31st of August and I want to remind people last year that I was a week ahead of any meteorologist on the planet when I warned that Hurricane Florence would hit the coast and so Here's the exact thing I, I was talking about. You see what I'm talking about? How this thing would be low and then it would move over. Now, the good news is whatever the hell is going on with the Azores high, it's just been a major high system that has dwarfed. Like no development has been taking place because the Azores high, which is usually like, it was like that. The Azores high is now like that. And so it's preventing any development. And so if the Azores high stays up, I may be wrong about that one. The, the October hurricane that will come from the Gulf and go BAP, probably Cat 5, and then go up the coast. That one I'm pretty sure of because it's, it should be able, it will have the Eris alignment, which is stronger than the, Neptune alignment. So this one has a better chance of not developing, but, uh, you know, we are definitely going to watch it. Cause like I said, I, right. It would be hitting about a month from now. So technically you have a month to prepare. I don't know. I'd warned everybody that if you don't have flood insurance in these parts of the coast, you should have probably gotten it. And I forgot what the, what's, what hurricane was it. There was a hurricane a few years ago. It was a Category 3 that came up like that. It was like in 90 or 80. I forget. But so that's what we're watching. So this is just a, like letting you guys know the mid-September hurricane uh, looks like well, that's going to be a hurricane, tropical storm. It's on the board. Like it's on the models board. It's not out yet. But we'll check. So I'm just letting everybody know that, yeah, it's here and we're going to. Watch and see what the models do with this thing. We got a month warning and 
So everybody should be prepared. Okay, and I've been warning everybody about a Gulf of Mexico hurricane, possibly the last week of August. And though no models are showing it anymore, I still want to tell people I will watch out because, yeah, let me put it down so you can see the dates. I, I, that one may not develop, okay? So that would be great. And technically, if you want to say I got it wrong, that's fine, even though it's still five days out. I never guaranteed it was going to be a hurricane. What I'm saying is, I don't like what the models are doing. Okay. Now, it's supposed to develop from here, right? Um, so, we see, is what, the 19th? Now, so you can see the low developed down there. So, like, here's one low, and then here's the binary lows, okay? And then, so they're both moving in unison, 1014, 1012. And then it, it just kind of evaporates. And then it becomes nothing. But then another one forms behind it. It moves up. And then it evaporates. You see that? And so, the main thing is, here's the main storm. Here's the head of the storm, and then it's the tail. <clears throat> And so this is why I think, that's why I thought the whole time we would see development because I think this whole storm would fill out. And see, it, it breaks off and leaves like nothing in the Gulf. But it keeps putting a ton of rain in this area. Like, and then it just disappears it. And then it pops back up, pops back up. And then... And then it just shows back, like, see, see what I'm saying? Like, that's a pretty, that's a pretty intense, so no, there may, I may be wrong, and there may, no, may be no hurricane from the 23rd to the 31st in the Gulf. <clears throat> but, like, watch the, oh, let's watch the overall pattern, and just, overall, it looks like the Gulf Coast from Texas to uh, Florida and even the Carolinas going to get really wet. But watch this. <clears throat> this rain pattern is pretty bizarre. So I'm not going to mind if there's no hurricane. But I wouldn't. It's still five days out. And I think this situation has to be monitored. Not only the overall rain conditions, but like I said, I wouldn't be surprised to see something develop or show up in the next few days because the models haven't even known what to do with the Pacific side hurricane. And um, as Nicolas Barreto pointed out, the Eastern Pacific is quite active with three tropical disturbances, but the one that grabs attention is Invest 95E, southwest of Central America. It's got a 90% chance of formation. And this one curves. And um, what I was discussing in my other video that I just posted. By the way, you may want to check back to my channel manually every day or click the button or whatever. Because a lot of people have been saying they haven't been getting my notifications. I tried to watch it on my phone. The normal Google browser said it didn't. Google couldn't play my own video. I don't know, man. Um, so. Uh. Must be doing something right. I wanted to show where was um, we. I wanted to show one thing. Where are we at? Okay, we're gonna get there. So, but I just wanted to remind people with the gas giants on the same side, and it was like the year after. It was the year before the year after a seven point nine earthquake in. Um. Oh, man, I'm going to find it. A hurricane hit San Diego in 1858. And in 1857, it had a major earthquake. And for both, the gas giants were on the same side as they are now. So for the next six years, we will be watching any of these hurricanes that may curve back into Mexico and the United States. Another interesting thing. Yeah, I'm doing a one-day Sunday fundraiser, trying to raise money for my concentration medicine 
so I'll be ready for hurricane season. Uh, snail mail is the best way to go. T. Lewis in 5430 Birdwood Road, 416. Houston, Texas, 77096. Or my PayPal, or any of these ways. Really got a new Patron with the $5 option. All this work is done through y'all's contributions. And I appreciate and love you guys. Even though I'm really grumpy today. Because now I'm starting to get the stress of hurricane season. So talking about, oh yeah. I'm about to show you now. <clears throat> and this is like a week out. I don't know, eight days. I guess I'll watch how something slips off the coast and then punches New, New York as a tropical storm. Right there. See how it goes down and then develops and then boom. Whatever that is is weird. It is it would be the 30th which would technically be 12 days out so this is just one model run. Don't spaz out. Although it is definitely a reminder that, yeah, upper north east coast, you are on watch. Um, but it's only one run. It's the first time it's done it. But it's just interesting that it shows it just kind of break off on its own and then go retrograde up into like Nova Scotia in those areas. Oh, and then England, you guys are getting hammered. Uh, they're talking about like, there would be a 987. There's your next Eurocane. Is that two Eurocanes? And then you get your next one. And you there that would be the bad one. What would be that? That be the date on? I wish Hermione would have just mentioned she had a boyfriend. Jesus Christ! Do you think I like looking like a dipshit? Hell no! I never want to flirt with any other guy's woman ever. Whatever. Why does everything always have to suck so bad, man? How did we get into this shit show that is 2019? Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, a lot to watch, a lot to go on. Uh, we are still watching what may happen, you know, the week of the 23rd to the 31st. I've been putting out the warning for the middle of September through the middle of October. Pretty much all year relentlessly we're almost there and uh traditionally the last few hurricane seasons i usually jump the gun by a month where i'm like oh my god guys we got hurricanes coming and then we don't and then a month later all the hurricanes are here so I tried not to do that this year but who knows maybe i jumped the gun two weeks ahead but i'll you know i'll be i'll say that when i thought i had my process down really well that whatever that azores hide is doing it's like twice the normal size. Nothing is freaking normal, man. Nothing. Anyway, love you guys. Um, appreciate you. I'm grumpy today. I don't know. How long can a human being live without physical affection? I guess a while. But if you do like to support, I, I do a great job. I've even been staying up on the night shift. Like where I stay up from midnight to the morning so if anything major happens i got your back like the what was it the major earthquake in alaska it happened at three in the morning we had a tsunami warning for the whole west coast and there was like me and two other guys on twitter warning people and that was about it nothing ever happened but oh and the tsunami website of the government went down i was like that's great anywho everybody stay cool if you do want to contribute and support i would really appreciate it okay goodbye Talk to y'all soon. Peace out. God bless everyone.